Hey Health Nuts, welcome back to Health Nut Nutrition. My name's Nicole and today I'm gonna to be sharing how to make four delicious, super flavorful soups and guess what? 10 minutes. I did not think it was possible, but let me tell you, it not only is possible, but these soups are one of the most flavorful soups I've ever made. They're so good using simple ingredients. I got four very different soups. They're not all blended. I want to give you guys variety and you guys are going to freak out when you not only see how to make these in 10 minutes, but when you actually make them at home and realize how delicious they are. You and your family are going to love them and they're just, I'm just like really proud of myself. I nailed it. Thanks, Nicole. You did good. <laughs> so before we hop in, I just want to remind you guys to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on a future video. I post routine videos, what I eat in a day's, grocery hauls. We've got weekly Friday vlogs every single week on this channel. I feel like we've been vlogging for like, how many years, Chloe? Four years? A long time. So if you guys want to see like the whole behind the scenes of my life, not just like what I like to eat and cook, be sure to check out our Friday vlogs. Press that link, that button, the red subscribe button down below. It's free and you won't miss out on a future video. So without further ado, let's hop right in. I'm gonna have all of the recipes as always linked down below in the info box on my blog for you guys to get the full recipes. But uh, let's just hop right in. I'm gonna show you guys my hacks to making 10 minute soups. The first soup is my fire roasted tomato bisque soup. We're gonna start by using a blender and adding in our fire roasted canned tomatoes. These are just diced and fire roasted already, which means they're gonna have a ton of flavor. Next up, I have some creamy, full fat canned coconut milk. To add a cheesy, savory flavor, nutritional yeast. Fresh basil and oregano. Garlic. And to season, I have sea salt, black pepper, and dried chili flakes. Give it a blend just until everything is combined, but you still want a little bit of that texture. And then you're gonna bring this over to a pot on the stove, and we're just gonna warm it up. It may seem backwards blending and then heating, but this is one of the hacks to making a soup in 10 minutes. Now this may seem like it's not gonna be full of flavor because you made it in under 10 minutes, but I kid you not, this is one of the most flavorful tomato soups I have ever made. It is delicious. Serve this with some grilled cheese or some croutons. Season with some fresh cracked pepper, fresh oregano, and you're ready to dig in, or in this case, dip in with your grilled cheese. It's so good. You guys are gonna love this recipe and no one will know you made it in 10 minutes. Next up, we have my creamy pumpkin coconut soup. For this recipe, we're gonna start off by using a small food processor. To this, I'm adding in a shallot, garlic. I'm also adding in some ginger, which gives the soup a little bit of heat and olive oil to help it come together. You're gonna give that a blitz until it's all well minced. Transfer this mixture to a pot and you're just gonna wanna saute it. This is gonna really allow the flavors of the onion, garlic, and ginger to really come through before we mix everything up. To this, I'm gonna add in my canned pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie filling, just the puree. The nice thing is that it's already cooked, so it's gonna make the soup come together really fast. Next, I have some low sodium vegetable broth. Full fat canned coconut milk. This is gonna add a really rich creaminess to this soup. Pure maple syrup and sea salt and black pepper. Give it a stir and you're just gonna heat this up for all of the flavors to come together and really shine. Once it's nice and hot, you're ready to serve this into some bowls. I like to garnish mine with a little bit of coconut milk left over in the can. It just makes it look extra fancy. A sprinkle of cayenne pepper, because I really love that heat. And some toasted pumpkin seeds that I just dry roasted on the stove. This just really adds to that pumpkin theme that we're going for. And your creamy pumpkin coconut soup is complete. Soup number three is my Tuscan white bean soup with Swiss chard. To a pot, I'm heating up some olive oil, onion, garlic, celery, diced canned tomatoes, shredded carrots. I just used the store-bought kind that's already done for you to speed things up. And for seasoning, I have dried chili flakes, smoked paprika, sea salt, and black pepper. 
saute until fragrant. For my broth, I'm just taking a vegetable bouillon cube and I'm just gonna dissolve it in a little bit of hot water and add that to the pot. And to speed things up, I went ahead and used my kettle to boil four cups of water. Next, I'm adding in a can of drained cannellini beans, also known as white kidney beans, fresh thyme and oregano. Give it a stir and then just bring it to a boil. It's gonna boil really quickly because we already used pre-boiled water. Using an immersion blender, I'm just gonna kind of pop it in about four times and give it a blend. This is gonna really help us get a really creamy broth because the beans are super creamy alone. And when they get pureed into the broth, they create the most delicious, flavorful broth. I love doing this with soups. Last but not least, we're gonna add in our chopped up Swiss chard. I love throwing in some greens to my soup during the last few minutes. That way they still hold their texture, but you still get that added benefits of greens. Ladle this into a cute bowl. Serve with some crusty bread. I also love to shave a little bit of fresh Parmesan on top, and this is comfort in a bowl. It is such a delicious, flavorful soup, and once again, made in 10 minutes. Last but not least, we have this delicious miso soup. To a pot, I'm gonna add in some toasted sesame oil. If you've never used toasted sesame oil, it is so full of flavor. I love using it for anything like this. To that, I'm adding in ginger and garlic. I'm gonna give it a little saute before I add in the next few ingredients. Next, I have some enoki mushrooms. You can use whatever mushrooms you like, but I think these are really fun in this recipe, and they kind of resemble noodles when they get cooked up. Next, we have some bok choy, tamari, which is already pretty salty, so we don't need to add any additional salt to the soup, garlic chili sauce, and then just give it a stir to saute and start cooking down the vegetables. Next, we have the star of the show, our white miso paste. You can find this at most grocery stores. And I'm just gonna dissolve it in a little bit of hot water before I add it into the pot. Next, I'm adding in some hot boiled water that I boiled up using my kettle. Once again, it's a really easy hack to speed up the cooking time of your soup. Give it a stir and let everything cook for a bit. And then during the last minute, we're gonna add in our soft tofu. I've just cubed this up. And the nice thing about soft tofu is that you don't really need to cook it. You're really just warming it up. Sprinkling some green onion and you are ready to plate. The soup comes together so fast, it's so flavorful, and it hits the spot if you're craving miso soup or any like ramen kind of flavoring soup. I like to garnish mine with some toasted sesame seeds. This soup hits the spot anytime I'm craving takeout. I can just make this, whip it up in 10 minutes, and it is perfect. So there you have it, 10 minute soups. I told you guys, these are so easy. I know you guys are gonna love them. As I mentioned, all of the recipes will be linked down below on my blog. So you guys can check that out, print them, pin them, save them for later, make them tonight. They are so good. Your mind's gonna be blown when you actually make these at home and they actually truly do taste amazing. Not just like quick to whip up, but like really yummy to eat. And you can just like have them with the grilled cheese on the side with some nice crusty bread, or you can just have some croutons with some grated cheese on top however you serve these they're gonna be delicious I know you're gonna guys are gonna love them so be sure to leave me a comment down below letting me know what kind of quick meal you want to see next is it breakfast is it just like easy weeknight dinners let me know I love doing these like five minute ten minute meals for you and I actually have a whole other bunch of videos like that so I'll have a playlist down below for you guys to check out as always don't forget to subscribe click that red subscribe button down below and I will see you guys in my next video have a fabulous day and get your soup on. Bye guys.